Well, as we pray today, uh, spoken with Martha and Kevin has a bypass surgery tomorrow, and they're watching him, and that's real urgent, so they're even, uh, you know, watching him until, until then. So let's pray for Martha, because I'm sure that's a heavy, heavy burden to bear, not being there, and definitely pray for Kevin. It's just God's hand is, is on him. <clears throat> Uh, other requests that anybody has? No, he's Scott in prayer. He's having a rough time. Okay, yeah, Scott. Yeah, we'll pray for Scott. He's still off work and okay. trying to recuperate some of his strength. So yeah, okay. Very well. Yeah, it's been a long battle for Scott, so we'll pray for him. Pray for my brother and Walt Davis, who's fighting cancer. Yeah, Walt Davis, uh, who's fighting cancer. For Cece, yes, she had an operation on her finger, and uh, she has to keep it up, so we didn't want her to have to raise her hand the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) So, but uh, yeah, definitely pray for, pray for her in that. Uh, Anybody else? (laughs) Donna, yeah, definitely, yeah, pray, pray for Donna. She's trying to get her strength back. Bonnie. Bonnie has a praise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so grandkids getting married, so please please God. And for a safe trip that Ron and Bonnie made it back from Kentucky at like what one thirty or something in the morning or one o'clock, so. <laughs> All right, well, let's join together in prayer. Jesus, we want to come and we want to thank you for being such a good God. Thank you for the love that you have shown us and, uh, Lord, that you're a healing God. And, Father, we, we bring these, these requests to you. Lord, we just ask that in each of these times of need that's represented, God, that you would be just so faithful, and Lord, that you would be a healing God. You would be a loving God in those situations. You would be, Lord, a a comforter. Lord, that you would restore strength. Lord, you tell us that by your spirit we can run and not grow weary and walk and not faint. And Lord, I, I ask that you would just do that for each one of these people that we've mentioned. Lord, give them a new sense of your strength, Lord, above and beyond their own. Show them your grace, we pray. And Lord, we thank you for being so good to us as a church and for loving us and, and uh, Lord, for just blessing us. We ask that we would be a blessing. Lord, that you would help each one of us to serve you and to honor you with all of our heart and walk by your spirit and lead us together, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. And there's a praise that I forgot to share until we had already almost started to pray. Uh, vacation Bible school. Um, we, had, uh, we had eight kids most nights. But the most exciting thing is we had at least three of them, I know, receive Jesus Christ for the first time in their life. Several other ones prayed too. They wanted to receive Jesus, but I think some of them had before. But we had three of them that I know for sure it was the first time. And it was so neat to even see the change from day one the attitude or day two, so after they received Jesus, the, the, the way they acted was even different. It's, it's so neat what God does. And that's, I mean, that's what it's all about. <laughs> and so we just praise God for, you know, for touching those little lives. And uh, it was amazing. Some of those kids, they didn't know the first thing about Jesus or the Bible or anything. I, I'm always amazed at how little that people know uh, about Christianity and about Jesus anymore. It's like, a, it's like a, a mission field out there. And I'm sure you run into it with friends, neighbors, people just, they don't, they don't know very much at all. Some of these kids didn't even know the, uh, the basics. So uh, it was a great time. Thank you for your prayers for that. <clears throat> 